this will have chicken food. This will have chicken food. Hello guys, welcome to Chat Jamaican. We are now going to take a tour on the Black River and enjoy the safari. We will observe the crocodiles and other animals in their natural habitat. Remember to watch part one where you would get the opportunity to see the artifacts in the mini museum and also the crocodile nursery. Okay, everyone, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome on board for this your afternoon tour. My name is Fabian, and today I'll be your captain, your tour guide, a friend of yours, and also your crocodile son. <laughs> <laughs> now, presently, we are on the Black River, and the Black River is about four miles long, about 70 kilometers. The Black River starts in the north of the island, that's the tropic country of the north. It ends in the Caribbean Sea. Just a little way under that bridge behind us. But well, our trip today will take us four miles upstream and our way on birds, crocodile, and wetland vegetation. The depth of the water you're seeing here is 18 to 25 feet in depth. But that's the first crocodile you can see around at the moment. We call that one Peter, that's crocodile Peter. They're oh. cold blooded reptiles, so you'll find a few of them at the end of the river. Crocodiles try to get as much sun as possible in the days. Most of the time they'll see them with the moat open very wide. Yeah. The reason why the moat normally open that's how they sweat, like a dog to their mouth. Okay. Yeah. And to digest the system also. But these are the local fishing boats you're seeing over here. So Black River is a fishing village. It's a fishing town here. They have fishermen who go out at night to night fishing in the morning. They'll tell the people to market. Snappers, African bird, jack, monit, tarpon, and sunup. Snappers and African bird are very good eating fish here. Now, this is a mixture of salt and fresh water. It's from brackish water. The Caribbean Sea is right up there, so the salt water from upstream or up to eight miles sometimes. But that is why you can catch so many fish here in the black river like snapper. So you look overboard today, you can see that the Black River show brown color today. The water shows the brown color today because of the heavy rains that fall in the mountains, washes the dirt and the particles and settle it around here. But this water normally shows a black color, that is why it's called the Black River. It shows the black color because of the soil at the bottom of the river. There's a black soil at the bottom called the peat. The peat marks it gave dark affection to the river. That's how it gets the name Black River, and even the town gets the name of the river. So it's a town called the Black River Town because of the river. Well, further upstream, you will see what the real Black River normally looks like, and I will tell you some more about the Black River. You see lots of fishing down here. Some fishermen over there, they're fishing for like sunup and park and fish. Sunup, that's a very good eating fish here in the Black River. They get very big, but the park and they do sport fishing for park and here. Tarpon fish get up to 5 feet in length up to 200 pounds in the river. Very aggressive to catch. You have to be very skillful to get the tarpon close to water. Very hard to find. They do sport 
fishing around here for carp. Over to my left, there you have some tall street plants. Those are the bull rush plants, the bull rushes. Have some low line vegetation grow to the head of the river. Those are the water hyacinths, and they also bloom the purple flower called the lavender blue and the lavender blue hyaluronic creek. The water hyacinths are also the nesting ears for the shrimp. trip now will take us across to my right. It was beautiful in the area we like to find some more crocodiles and more birds also. On the other side of the river they do like fishing. So in the Santa Cruz mountain there's a lot of people live across the mountain that we will find a community called Malvern and in Malvern that we will find three of the oldest school around. That's the Hampton High School for girls, at the Hemorrhagian College and also Manhole College. However, if it's taken up and poured in a bottle, it would be crystal clear. Alright. So he's going to demonstrate.
forms it all over in the web and it's very fertilized very good for farming. Whenever you go to the web and you're not farming, you dig in the soil, on the top of the water, and you create a good farming. But the soil also we want to play with the web and call it in the yeah. Whenever down we don't have lots of great hair, at the time it's dry in the web and the flame comes up very hard. It smells very awful from here. When the sun gets had it form but take the sun motion, it now would be sun. So you'll have the natural sun fire burn across the wet and here fire can burn up for three days. No one can get that fire out, it just burn for days and days and days. Really? That's a natural sun fire. I'm not gonna drink this maybe the cup down needs to drink. Two sides of this river it's all wetland. We are surrounded by a wetland here now. This is the largest wetland in the whole English speaking Caribbean. Last count of crocodiles across this wetland, it was 24 years ago. 24 years ago, they see 350 crocodiles around here. It estimated that now it can be like four times the amount of crocodiles here in the wetland. The population now building up, they're now protected, they're endangered species. But on our tour like this, some days we see them, sometimes we don't. Because it's very unpredictable, some days you can come out in a tour, you find up 10 crocodiles, crocodiles, some days only one or maybe two. Sometimes for the day you will come out and search along the black river and you can't see them at all because they even go back into the wetland area. But it's very good when it's sunny on the tour. Well, in the sunny time you'll see more crocodiles when the sun comes up. On the hot day you'll see more crocodiles because they're cold blooded reptiles. They love the hot. The population of the crocodiles take a time to build up because the well mature female crocodile can lay up to 60 eggs in which 95% will hatch and maybe Five percent will live. The young ones they get eaten by birds, fish, and other crocodiles eat them all soon. But only the mother will protect their young. The mother always tries to protect the babies, but the babies they go astray as soon as they get strong, they go astray like swimming around and other crocodiles try to eat them. So it's very hard for a baby crocodile to survive out here. by the name of Big George, but Big George died as a old age. Now we find a smaller one in the same location take over the area. So we call this one the Little George. Little George! Coming over to take a pose. So how long, how old Big George live for? I think it's about like 25 years old. Very few struck it out. Okay. So maybe about an 18. Okay. So how old is Little George now? Little George is about like 12 years old. Oh, so I'm a couple more years remaining. Still, a young one. Okay. Well, uh, crocodiles can live up to 100 years and get up to 25 feet long. But I've never seen any around here 25 feet. The biggest crocodile I see along the Black River here is an 80 foot. That's big enough. Oh! <laughs> Make the sound again. Come, 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 come. He's not even come coming. Come, 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 come. Come, little George. It's about a 7 foot. So you have particular time to come out and feed them then, since it's that area or yeah, how they survive? They, they hunt on their own, oh. they're very active at night. Oh, okay. They hunt on their own. 95% of their diet made up of fish, another 5% are like crabs, frogs, and birds. 
Oh, okay, so there was some. Uh, try to give them a piece of chicken skin or so sometimes just to get them to come to the boat that everyone can get to see them and get closer pictures. Is that necessary that we have some people? But we just do it because we want them to get close, everyone gets to see them and get closer pictures. Oh, okay, oh, okay. So they hunt on their boat. Oh, okay. is nearby here it's all wetland we're actually so, we're so this is a morass yeah, oh so we're in the morass okay okay these mangrove trees are now protected by the law but back in the olden days from the red mangrove it used to be a red dye the wooden floor and furniture. They even used to use the mangrove tree to make furniture and wooden houses. But it's no longer used because they are not protected by the law of mangrove trees. So you can't cut them or strip them anymore. Hi, Philip. How old is he? Hi, Philip. You're older than me. Oh, my God. Hi, Philip. What happened to him, Belly?
Oh. Oh. heading back down the street. I'm going to look at the police line over there. Bye, Philip! Bye, Philip. <laughs> Philip. <laughs> so, the mangrove tree you're seeing back there, that's the oldest mangrove tree around it, estimated to be 200 years. We nicknamed it the Rock the Mangrove. It used to be a bit bigger than that, but it gets damaged by Hurricane Ivan in 2004. Very, very big tree. Yeah. 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 Yeah.